You have to make up your own rules as you go along because uh, these people don't play by the same rules as normal people. These eyes have seen it all as a private eye working the twisted, tangled lives of Tinseltown. Don Crutchfield's book tells a gritty story, The Confessions of a Hollywood P.I. When I was 10 years old, I sat on Judy Garland's lap and she sang Over the Rainbow to me. When I was 22, she sat on my lap and I was her bodyguard. And uh, some deranged fan of hers said, you know, I love Judy uh, with all my heart, but I'm going to murder her because that way we'll, we'll go through eternity together. Now that's Harry Banana times when you start thinking that stuff. I mean, that, that goes beyond just a little idle threat. You gotta really decommission somebody like that, which we did. The pages read like fiction, but his story is real. For a PI, the danger is very real. Well, I've been shot at a few times, yeah. Uh, but I return fire. <laughs> The danger's real, and so are the dames and the temptation to cross the line between bodyguard and the bodies they guard. Yeah, I've had it happen before. Uh, I mean, like the movie My Bodyguard type of thing, you get very attached to, to, the, to the client, especially if it's a good-looking lady and you're there protecting her and, uh, you know, you're laying out by the pool and that sort of stuff. I mean, stuff happens. He's worked for the biggest stars in Hollywood, Marlon Brando. Brando was at the height of his stardom, and I, and I actually lived at the house. I used to take Christian to school. Marlon Brando, yes. Michael Jackson, no. Uh, if I would have taken the case, Michael Jackson would still be doing commercials. But I would not work for a, somebody I believe to be a pedophile. A murderer, yes, but not a pedophile. When Jacko and Lisa Marie got divorced, this P.I. wasn't surprised in the least. That whole thing was a sham, because when you folks thought they were on their honeymoon, we were following Lisa Marie to a plastic surgeon where she had breast augmentation and liposuction on her thighs. Now, under those conditions, you don't even blow a kiss to somebody, much less have a honeymoon. And he's still working the streets of Hollywood as a private eye. Well, there's still stuff coming out about uh, Eddie Murphy. I mean, I don't know if that's going to, that, that's over yet. But I mean, he was caught on tape, and Eddie... He knows who hangs out at Formosa and San Mark Boulevard. I mean, I sure as hell do. If I got people from out of town, that's part of the freak tour. But I don't stop there. I drive by point and laugh, but that's all I do. So he knows better than that.